So my name is Ruben Alvarado, and I'm the pastor of Local Outreach and Jesus Academy here at Imago. Yeah, when the pandemic hit, um, you know, local ministries had to figure out what it was going to look like to um, give our resources, give, which our people, our time, our money, our staff, our building, you know, our ministries um, to the city um, when we ourselves were impacted and our people were impacted um, by the same pandemic that the city was facing. And so, you know, the whole world was facing. And that, you know, required us to make a, sh a pretty fundamental shift in how we're going to respond. My name is Amy Marie Merrill and I am the executive director of the Cupcake Girls in Oregon and Southwest Washington. Um, my name is Marvin Peña and uh, I've been uh, working with Boss Workers' Rights for two years and I am the grassroots engagement coordinator. So the Cupcake Girls is a non-religious nonprofit. We work to empower our clients in their pursuits and their timing. Our clients are um, sex workers, so either they have joined sex work by choice or they have not been joining sex work by choice. 73% of our clients have been or are currently being sex trafficked. Um, yeah, VOS is an organization that advocates for workers and immigrant rights, and uh, we focus on um, workforce development, economic opportunities, and uh, and education in general. Um, two weeks um, into March, I saw that our support requests went up by 300%, and truly I didn't know how we were going to, how we were going to serve everybody that was coming in. And I cried out to God and I said, you need to show me how I'm going to be able to serve these people. You've told me that this is my calling. You told me that I need to be here. How am I gonna do this? But I really felt like God was telling me, reach out to churches, reach out, reach out to churches. So I literally Googled churches in Oregon. <clears throat> and Imago Day was one of the first churches that popped up. And so I had sent out an email to Ruben and Ruben responded within hours and said, let's get on the phone. What is it that you need? So some of the ways that we've been able to um, provide support for these two organizations um, have been that we've done gift card drives and food drives and our people have shown up. You've shown up with those things. You've sent them in, you've you know dropped them off at Imago and we're able to give those to them. Um, we've also been able to provide our friends, you know, to go, hey, I know who else is providing food. There's these churches with resource. There's these churches with food and gift cards. There's also these organizations like Catholic Charities, like Union Gospel Mission, who are also rallying to this cause. And, and they're coming to us and going like, hey, who are your networks? How can we get the resource we might have into the hands of your friends? Um, and so really it was a matter of these partnerships of making ourselves making new friends, right? Right, with Cupcake Girls and Vos, um, but then not just giving them the resource we have here, but the resource of our friends around the city. And that's just been a beautiful expression of the kingdom. So it gave me hope, it gave everyone around the, the, the city, but also in the organization, hope that, that the community is getting together, that there is support out there. It's just that this is a relationship that hopefully is gonna keep growing. And, um, and it's, it's important because it, Feeling that support and hope give people, you know, a new, new spirit. I guess I don't know how to call it, but but it, to keep going and trying to overcome all this. And I keep thinking about restorative justice in the process of working with these clients and working through the people. And when I was telling this client about how we were able to get them out of this situation, she looked at me and she said, "Everyone treats me like trash, except for you guys." Thank you for treating me like a human being. And so I guess like I want to say to the people of Imago Day, thank you for being Jesus and thank you for treating people as humans because that's what they deserve. Everyone is beautiful in the eyes of God. We are all carrying a piece of God. We all reflect God. And when one person's voice is quieted, a piece of God that we are meant to see is quieted. 
So thank you for allowing people who have that voice to be seen so that we can all experience and know the fullness of God.